You know what I love? When I accidentally delete footage of a very important episode, similar to the whole Brock thing. Well, it happened again! Yeah, that's right. I finished, so what happened was I finished the Pokemon Tower and then actually caught Snorlax, uh, the sleeping Pokemon that's been blocking away. And I accidentally deleted that, so now I need to walk you guys through what happened. Here we go. We're back with the shit show. Let's get it. So I was in the Pokemon Tower, and I finished beating those Ghastlies uh, right up there. I also mentioned Cubone, because Cubone is a Pokemon that's very rare here that I forgot to mention. Now, Cubone is a ground type of solid defense and attack, and overall solid bulk. Balls in the Marowak at a, at, a, at a decent level, and has a signature move, Bone Club, and has a good user of Swords Dance. Uh, I personally like Sand Slash better in this game. Uh, you know, Marowak's a, a solid Pokemon. Uh, it does get access to Rock Slide and stuff like that, but I think it's a little outclassed by other things. It's still a pretty solid Pokemon to use. It's very rare. Now, another use of Cubone, of course, is you get access, you can trade Cubone and get access to that Machoke that the guy above in Ravillion City wanted you to uh, trade with him, which, of course, you do access to Machamp, which is a really good fighting type, which you normally need to trade to get. Yeah, and then... Oh, got my repel off. Yeah, and the rest of the trainers here just had freaking Ghastly, or, or, or whatever, you know, Try Guy did those. So, yeah, and then, of course... Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, yay, yeah, demonetization for the videos that aren't monetized, because I have, like, 12 subscribers. Pikachu just hopped that? Whoa, are you guys seeing this? Pikachu's, like, glitching on me. Ah, oh, he's better now, rip. Yeah, so then you uh, deal with the thing with Marowak. Now, this is the area where you need the self scalp for. Well, you'll battle the ghost to Cubone's dead mother, Marowak. So pretty dark. You can't catch it. You can't, even if you have a Master Ball, which you can't get access to at this point in the game. Uh, it's level 30. I just used, uh, it, it, uh, Roshi to take him out. Took two hits with Bubble Beam, but I mostly killed him in one hit. And then up here, you run into Team Rocket, which have, uh, level 27 Meowth, Ekans, uh, level 27 Meowth, Arbuck, and Weezing, which, you know, Weezing's level 27. So, that's actually not even possible to have one, so, you know, James cheats. And then you rescue Mr. Fu Fuji from here. Then he takes you back to his house, where he gives you the Poke Flute, where you get Snorlax. Alright, so I'm gonna go for Dig here. Yeah, I didn't, totally didn't see any spoilers there. Then you talk to Mr. Fuji over here. And he gives you the Poke Flute and stuff. Hey, yes, the Poke Flute can all do the Poke Flute. Uh, not only lets you wake up the Snorlax, uh, the one here by Vermilion City, or South of Lavender Town, the one by Celadon City, it also lets you. Uh, wake up sleeping Pokemon outside of battle and during battle, so it's an extremely useful item. So, Awakenings are essentially pointless at this point in time in your adventure, so that's always a good thing. So yeah, Snorlax is an amazing Pokemon. Uh, it has great bulk overall, amazing HP, really good attack, and has excess amnesia, which as you know is OP in this game. The specials one set, so it's essentially like a double call mine, and a great arsenal of moves it can learn to do it. It's a heavy hitter, Great user of the Hyper Beam TM, which obviously, you know, if it kills a Pokemon in this game, you don't have to recharge. Uh, could learn access to moves like Psychic, Blizzard, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, etc. And because of Amnesia, could really easily power them up. It's a really good Pokemon. One of, if not the best in the entire game. Or, well, not the best, but certainly up there. So I caught it here. It has a really high catch, low catch rate. And as you see, Snorlax is in my party. I've saying great praise about it, so why not use it? It starts with Headbutt, Rest, and Amnesia. And let's just see that. Take a look at that. 136 HP. If you compare it to the rest of my team, Roshi is the closest thing, and Roshi is a higher level. And then let's take a look at this attack. 73. Let's go up to Try Guy, who was the closest to that. 62. So, I think we all know how good Snorlax is. And Amnesia can help power up his special, which isn't that bad. So I thought that since we missed out on the Snorlax battle, I'll go battle the Snorlax in Celadon City. And then I'll use my Snorlax, so I'll have a Snorlax v Snorlax battle. Which I can imagine just like two Snorlaxes like headbutting each other in this really narrow area, which is Cel by Celadon City. So that's really cool. So yeah, that's it. That's my sixth team member. 
a pretty basic team. Uh, I usually like to use some unique Pokemon, but Pokemon Yellow, I thought I'd give an exception. Uh, Snorlax, I'm not going to give it to him yet, but I have some uh, TMs I want to give to him. Uh, preferably the Hyper Beam TM. I'm going to seal all my, uh, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to sell all my high money items so I can buy the Hyper Beam TM to give to him because Stab Hyper Beam from Snorlax will be the most powerful move we could possibly use in this game. Well, I like, there's like some other like weird formulas that you could do, but for us, and really for the most part, a Stab Hyper Beam without any, uh, add-ons is probably the best you're going to get in this game, so it's really freaking good. So yeah, we're going to go over here now, so we could have a Snorlax, see Snorlax about. I named him Boogie. Uh, really, uh, obviously, you know, Boogie2998. Uh, not, do not mean it in a mean-spirited way whatsoever. Boogie's a really good guy. Uh, he's been getting some hate recently. Well, eh, it's kind of been going on for a while. I don't think he deserves any of it. I think he's a really cool, cool guy. But, you know, it's a fun joke. You know, he jokes about it, too. So, if he, uh, saw this YouTuber with 12 subscribers... Uh, talking about it, you know, I'm sure he'd get a kick out of it, you know, the million subscriber guy. So, haha, I think that's kind of funny. And I think the name kind of fits it, too. So, yeah, I don't want to give him the TMs yet, because I want to have to be an even battle. Yeah, Snorlax could learn so many good moves. So, yeah, let's play the Pokey Flute. You see Snorlax looks like a freaking, like, Cabbage Patch doll there. Also, you got a rare candy while you're in the Pokemon Tower. Snorlax woke up and attacked in a grumpy rage. So here we go. Here's Snorlax. So let's start with, obviously, Amnesia really doesn't do much for him offensively, just defensively. Headbutt and rest are annoying to deal with. Yeah, so I'll just spam headbutt on him. Oh, is Snorlax faster? That's annoying. As long as he only uses Amnesia, we're fine. You see, that's a hard-hitting attack. Yeah, just keep using Amnesia. Or just spam headbutts. Okay, don't go for rest. Don't go for rest. Yes! Will my Snorlax triumph? Yeah! Easy! With a big yawn, Snorlax returned to the mountains. How did it move that fast? The thing, like, is slow as hell. Yeah, so I figured I got some time here, and I was really gonna make this and the two. I was really gonna make Pokemon Tower and Snorlax separate. Then I thought, oh, I could do one of the Snorlaxes. Things, but now what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna withdraw all my money items, sell them, so then I can get my uh, what what you would call it, uh, hyper beam. No, not Bill's PC, Matt's PC. I think I, all right, both the nuggets. Well, I'm not looking to sell TMs just yet. Is that it? Is that all I got? That's all I got on me. Yeah, you really need to be aware with uh, with uh, your I your bagged items in this game. So that's really annoying. So I already have a good amount of money, so I think I'm good on that. Yeah, I oh, I did buy a shit ton of great balls though, so that actually might hurt me. Actually, I'm gonna be short. Well, whatever. We'll buy as much as we can now, and then we'll it'll be a project getting hyper beam for Snorlax. Yeah, I, I bought a shit ton of great balls because I thought Snorlax would be harder. I actually caught him on, like, my third ball. Or not my third, like, my fourth ball. But it has a lot higher catch rate than uh, other Pokemon. It's like a practice for a legendary. Alright, give you a good chunk of money here. Well, I don't need the Awakenings anymore, so I might as well sell them. And I'm all good. Yeah, you know, the whole coin thing is really slow in this game, so it's going to take a while to buy all of them, but I am going to be short, so that is going to be very fun, of course, you know, being short of my Hyper Beam TM. Yeah, but it will essentially be the nuke of the team, so that will be uh, fun, fun, you know, very fun. So you need a crap ton, you need like 5,700 to get it. Uh, yeah, let's jam A for a while. Wait, what? Do I not have my coin case on me? 
I deposited it. Wow. Oh god, half of this video is just me buying coins and screwing around. But I usually do stuff off screen, so I thought I'd give you uh, guys the entertainment of seeing it live, my hijinks in action. Yeah, so Mew will no longer be uh, hiding as my part, being my party as a slave, so. No, that's at least good. I don't know why I deposited my coin case. Can't run in this game either, so that's really stupid. A coin case, go. Now, some of these redundant TMs I'm not going to use, I am going to sell. But I have been thinking about it. I think I'm going to give Double Edge if we tell us to give him a more powerful, more reliable, normal type move. Because, you know, he's kind of weak. But, you know, I will be giving him Light Screen. Once I get access to it on him, he can learn it leveling up. So, Light Screen will be a pretty good move for him. Or I might give him Reflect. It depends. Physical moves are a little more common in this game. Alright. Alright, asshole. I have my coin case now. Alright, let's mash A for a while. Yeah, so talking about that, uh, there was a lot of positive reception over that, uh, over me, uh, showing the Elite Fours in that black wedlock, black two wedlock, so if you guys want, I talked about there, if you guys want to see me, uh, do something where I'll do a Nuzlocke, which I'm not doing any more wedlocks for a long time, if you want to see me do a Nuzlocke, and you want to see me go through and, like, record every gym leader battle or every important battle, I would love to do that, you know, kind of make a pseudo-series out of it. But you know that would be cool. People, I really like Nuzlocke. I know a lot of people like them. So you know, Champ can have something for everyone then. Oh uh, god, this is taking so long. Yeah, but for uh, games, because I haven't talked about what game I'm gonna do next. I think it's gonna be Emerald for uh, for uh, a Let's Play because or Let's Play Guide because I need. I want to. Uh, uh, I, I really originally want to do Crystal first. I've never actually played Crystal. I've only played Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So I want to research that a bit, and I really know Emerald well, so I think I'll do that one. I like I don't even know what team I would use for Crystal. I already have like my team plan for Emerald. I want to try to do the games in order, but my issue with uh, em like I've just finished this, I wouldn't want to go straight into Fire Red and Leaf Green, so that's why I would go to Emerald. So I think that that would be I think that that's a good uh, system that we have going on. So it's gonna be Crystal or Emerald next, but I think what I'm gonna do is it's gonna go Crystal. It's gonna go Crystal Slash Emerald, then Leaf Green, then I'm gonna go into uh, Platinum, then Heart Gold, then Black and White, then Black and White 2, then X and Y, then Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, uh, shit, shit, then, oh, Sun and Moon, then Ultra Sun and Moon, then uh, Let's Go, and then Sword and Shield, so, yeah, for, I'm going in order for the most part, except for that Fire Red and uh, Emerald thing, because I don't want to do Fire Red right off the bat. And I'd much rather play Emerald than uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, yeah, you know what? This is taking a really long time, and I'm not going to have enough, so I'm going to not make you guys sit through this. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on TikTok, and see you guys next time.